Um, have you done a deal yet, Patrick Harvey? <laughs> we are making a strong case to the Scottish Government, as we have done persistently, that not only is it vital that we protect public services, public services that all of us depend on every day of our lives, but that it is also possible now to do that fairly with the tax powers right. that are available to the Scottish Parliament. Okay. We're making that case and we're continuing we, we to do We don't have so. that much time. Let, let's cut to the quick. You're insisting that you won't... Or are you insisting that you won't vote for the Scottish budget unless they put taxes up? To be honest, uh, I think we're the only political party that's being constructive and persistent in this uh, process. There is going to be no budget if we can't get agreement across the chamber and a majority support for a budget. Okay. We put forward a range of ways in which we can protect Oh, I see. So it's a range of ways now. So let me ask you well, directly. Look, can you imagine a situation where in, taxes do not go up, but you vote for the budget? If parties just dug their feet in and said, my way or the highway, then the whole thing would fall and we would start to see emergency cuts happening in public services across Scotland. I'm not willing to see that happen, oh. but I am in <laughs> entirely determined to put pressure on the uh, Scottish okay, Government so to give ground uh, on the position that it's taken so far. Right. How things change? Because your insistence of only a few days ago that uh, the Greens would not vote for the budget unless, you got, unless taxes went up now seems to be a thing of the distant past. I want to see where we can get to tomorrow to do both progressive tax increases. I think all five of us, people on high incomes, can afford to pay more tax. And I'm making that case as strongly as I can to the Scottish Government. Yes, but you're not I'm making that making condition case, any longer. I'm also making a case that we protect public services, the public services that all of us depend on, because cutting those is going to have a terrible impact on poverty, on inequality, and on people's quality of life around okay. Scotland. And well, I think it's vital that we achieve both of these things, and I'm making every effort to try and achieve them both. Well,